At its AI day, Tesla unveiled its Dojo supercomputer technology while flexing its growing in-house chip design talent. The automaker claims to have developed the fastest AI training machine in the world. For years now, Tesla has been teasing the development of a new supercomputer in-house optimized for neural net video training. Tesla is handing an insane amount of video data from its fleet of over 1 million vehicles, which is used to train its neural nets. The automaker found itself unsatisfied with the current hardware options to train its computer vision neural nets and believed it could do better internally. Let's find out in detail about this supercomputer. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit the notification bell to get updated with technology trends. We bring you the video related to the insane new supercomputer by Tesla called Quantum Computer. So stick till the end. Over the last two years, CEO Elon Musk has been teasing the development of Tesla's own supercomputer called Dojo. Electric vehicle maker Tesla unveiled a new computer chip designed entirely in-house, which will be used in the company's supercomputer, Dojo. Unveiled at the company's online AI Day event, the new D1 chip will be used to train artificial intelligence networks in Tesla's data centers. He even teased that Tesla's Dojo could have a capacity of over an exaflop, which is one quintillion floating point operations per second, or 1,000 petaflops. It could potentially make Dojo the new most powerful supercomputer in the world. At Tesla's AI Day, the company unveiled Dojo. Ganesh Venkastramanan, Tesla's senior director of autopilot hardware and the leader of the Dojo project, led the presentation. The engineer started by unveiling Dojo's D1 chip, which is using 7 nanometer technology and delivers breakthrough bandwidth and compute performance. This is the second chip designed by the Tesla team internally after the FSD chip found in the FSD Computer Hardware 3 in Tesla cars. Venkatramanan had an actual D1 chip on stage. He said the Tesla technology will be the fastest AI training computer. Chip maker Intel, graphics card maker NVIDIA, and startup Graphcore are among the companies that make chips that companies can use to train AI models. The chips can help train models for recognizing a variety of items from video feeds collected by cameras inside Tesla vehicles. Model training requires extensive computing work. The work comes two years after Tesla began producing vehicles containing AI chips it built in-house. Those chips help the car's onboard software make decisions very quickly in response to what's happening on the road. Tesla currently offers what it calls a full self-driving capability, and on four new vehicles. The $10,000 package lets the car automatically change lanes, navigate on highways, move into parking spots, and emerge from a parking spot to arrive by the driver. The Tesla website says, Later this year, the package will also include the ability for a Tesla to automatically steer on city streets, although Tesla had previously promised that feature would come in 2019. The California-based company said it is placing up to 25 D1 chips onto a single training tile, and 120 of these tiles will be joined together across various servers. This will make the calculations several times faster than most supercomputers in use today. But to understand what the training tile is, it's necessary to take a step back. In October 2016, CEO Elon Musk announced that every Tesla would ship with the necessary suite of cameras and sensors to one day enable full self-driving. All it would need, he explained, was a software and computer upgrade. Tesla software, currently in beta, runs on the in-car computer. It takes input from the car's eight cameras, creates a 3D vector space of the surrounding world, and uses that to make judgments about what to do next. Tesla trains its software at its own facilities by feeding it videos taken from eight cameras. Objects in the video are labeled to help the software understand what they look like, how they move, and how to react around them. The engineer commented on the new D1 chip. This was entirely designed by the Tesla team internally, all the way from the architecture to the packet. This chip is like GP-level computer with a CPU-level flexibility and twice the network chip level I.O. bandwidth. Tesla claims to have achieved a significant breakthrough in chip bandwidth. The result is a 9 petaflop training tile with 36 terabyte per second of bandwidth in less than 1 cubic foot format. Venkatramanan also had an actual Dojo training tile on stage. The engineer commented on the piece of computing technology. It's unprecedented. This is an amazing piece of engineering. However, that's where the unveiling of the actual real Dojo hardware stopped for Tesla. 
The automaker revealed that it only recently ran a neural network on one of the tiles, and Vetra Kamanen appeared to even surprise Adrej Karpathy, Tesla's head of AI, on stage by revealing for the first time that Dojo Training Tile ran one of his neural networks. But now it still has to form a computer cluster using those training tiles in order to truly build the first Dojo supercomputer. Tesla says that it can combine two by three tiles in a tray and two trays in a computer cabinet for over 100 petaflops per cabinet. But with their incredible bandwidth, Tesla claims that they can link those all together to create the Exapod. In a 10 cabinet system, Tesla's Dojo Exapod will break the barrier of the Exaflop of compute, something that supercomputer makers have been trying to achieve for a long time. Tesla hasn't put the system together yet, but CEO Elon Musk claims that it will be operational next year. It would become the fastest AI training computer in the world while being power efficient and in a relatively small format for a supercomputer. Tesla plans to use the new supercomputer to train its own neural networks to develop self-driving technology, but it also plans to make it available to other AI developers in the future. Since it was Tesla's first shot at developing a supercomputer in-house, the company also believes that there is a lot of room for improvement, and it is teasing 10x improvements in some levels of performance in the next version of Dojo. Supercomputers are far more powerful than general purpose computers and are typically used to address the most demanding problems in the world. These include developing models to discover new medicine, fight a pandemic, explore oil and gas reserves, simulate nuclear weapon explosions, forecast weather, and research climate issues. U.S. technology companies such as Microsoft, IBM, and Google are competing to develop improved supercomputer technology. Quantum physics at Abu Dhabi's Technology Innovation Institute are building the Middle East's first quantum supercomputer. Dojo, which expects to be operational soon, will not only be part of the technology for Tesla's full self-driving system that offers more enhanced features such as auto parking and automatic lane changes. This is not intended to be used limited to Tesla cars, the company's billionaire chief executive Elon Musk said. Dojo is made of a mere 10 cabinets and is thus also the smallest supercomputer in the world when it comes to size. Fujaku, on the other hand, is made up of 256 cabinets. If Tesla was to add 54 cabinets to Dojo V1 for a total of 64 cabinets, Tesla would surpass Fujiko. Then finally, if Dojo 2.0 is actually 10 times more powerful than Dojo is right now, then even with a mere 10 cabinets, Dojo V2 would be the most powerful supercomputer in the world by a healthy margin. The Dojo is still being developed. It will be capable enough to process large volumes of video training data and run hyperspace arrays with an extreme count of parameters efficiency, ultra-high bandwidth between cores, and plenty of memory. There is plenty of unfinished work to be completed, but technically, Tesla has its developments in simulation with Field Programmable Gate Array, or FPGA, at 0.01% capability. Version 1.0 of Dojo will be released within a year. Tesla imagines the world in three dimensions, and the fourth dimension is time. Compared to your other automaker's driver assist tech, Tesla's game-changing 4D autopilot changes the entire sport. Elon Musk is applying the Bleeding Edge Alpha build in his car, which requires nearly zero intervention between home and work. That said, this is it for today's video. So what is your take on this matter? Tell us in the comments. If you want to see our upcoming videos, ring the bell icon, and don't forget to like our video as well. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching.